Hello chess friends, welcome back to our YouTube channel. In this wonderful video, we're gonna have a look at a chess tactic which is called as clearance or also popularly known as line clearance. So let's understand what is clearance in chess. Basically clearance is a kind of a tactical idea in which you deliberately sacrifice some material. Basically you sacrifice a piece in order to open up some lines, some ranks or some diagonals. Basically all you have to do is sacrifice piece in order to open a particular line of attack if you do that, you can either give a checkmate or win a lot of material. So let's see how it works uh, in real games and how you can use it in your own games. And basically in this video, I'll be showing you six wonderful examples of the line clearance and you will totally get this concept as well as you'll enjoy the puzzles as well because these are really, really good attacking puzzles. So here's the first example. It's black to play and win by force. Basically, you can open up lines very quickly and win the game uh, for black. So just go ahead, pause the video and try to find the winning line clearance move for black. Alright, so hope you took your time because this is really beautiful. The first thing you need to notice is there is a bishop on d6, there is a queen on h4 and if you can somehow manage to get the queen to h2, then that will be a checkmate. So the thing is you need to open up some lines, you need to open up the h file you need to open up the g file if you can do that things will work out magically this is the first move knight sacrifice knight into h3 that's a check of course he has only two options he can either move his king to the h1 square or he can capture let's look at king h1 this obviously is horribly bad because now knight to g5 there's a check discovered check from the queen over there if king g1 then queen h2 is a checkmate so basically more or less the knight has to be captured over here so he will capture the knight now how do you open up the h file how do you move the pawn away if this pawn is cleared up then you can see queen h2 would be a mate what should black play over here all right if you guessed rook to g4 that is the winning move this is a rook sacrifice again again sacrificing move uh, pieces in order to open more lines the idea here is to open up the h file if you can if you can do that you're winning King to h1 is not working because of queen takes h3 checkmate. So going back, he has to capture the rook. And now as we wanted, the h file has been cleared up. Line has been cleared up. Line clearance is successful. And queen h2, that's a wonderful checkmate. So basically you need to sacrifice two pieces. First, the knight on h3 followed by gh3. And now the beautiful move, rook g4. Just smoothly clearing up the line and after the pawn moves to g4, there is a checkmate over here. Wonderful. Let's go to our second puzzle now. Alright, so here is a second example of line clearance or clearance. It is white to play and win the game. Again, all you have to do is sacrifice some material in order to clear some really important line and you will have a checkmate serve on your plate. So white to play and win the game. Pause the video and try to find the move that white should play. All right, this one will really surprise you because the first move in itself is a queen sacrifice, queen to g5. Now this is like a beginner's move. You put the queen on a square where it can be captured by a pawn, but actually this is the winning move. And there is an idea behind it. To win the game, you need to open up the a1 to h8 diagonal. If you can open up that diagonal, you're winning the game. How does it work? Let's have a look at it. Of course, this queen was captured, but if you don't capture it, let's say you go to um, f7, then there is a checkmate, of course. Queen g7, king goes over here, and th th now there are two checkmates. Uh, knight takes pawn is a checkmate. Also, queen e7 is a mate. Whichever you prefer, I would say knight takes pawn is a. Uh, it looks more prettier in nature. The two knights are beautifully coordinating, including the queen, and that will be a checkmate. So, going back, of course, the queen has to be captured over here. And now you might ask, what was the entire idea of opening the opening up the diagonal over here? Why did we clear up the diagonal? Here comes the move. Knight to h6, check. Now you see, this knight on e6 covers the g7 square. This knight on h6 covers the f7 square. King doesn't have too many squares. In fact, he has only one square. He has to go in the corner. And here comes our star bishop. The bishop on c1 now comes to life on this diagonal. This is the reason the queen was sacrificed over here. Simply because we wanted to open up the diagonal by force. And now the only move for him is to play rook f6. And we just grab it and that is a wonderful checkmate so that was example number two let's go to example number three now 
So there you have a third example, really wonderful one. It's white to play. Again, you need to open up something, open up some files, open up some diagonals. So just think about it, white to play and win the game. This one is really one of my favorite ones. Okay, now this looks like a really messy position. How do we even give a checkmate? In fact, there are no, it, it seems like there are not even good checks. But in fact, it turns out that uh, the quiet looking pawn on F2, that little pawn on F2 is the hero of this puzzle. In fact, he's the one who's gonna give a checkmate, as surprising as it sounds. This is how we do it. First, you need to remove the main defender, that is a d5 bishop. The entire reason for doing that is you want to open up the sixth rank. If you can open up the line on the sixth rank, Basically, it's a clearance. Again, you clear up the sixth rank. Once that is done, checkmate is possible. This is how it's done. Rook takes on d5, check. The rook is well supported from the knight, so king cannot capture. The only option for him is to capture with the pawn. And that gives us exactly what we wanted. That opens up the sixth rank over here. And now all we have to do is use our hero pawn on h2, on f2, and give a mate. How is that done? We move our knight to d3. The pawn is cleared up. The only option again, thanks to our pawn on g4, everything is covered. The king covers everything. Rook on the e6 covers all the squares. That's the reason we wanted to open up, open up the sixth rank because now the king has absolutely no escape. The pawn has to capture and here comes f4 and checkmate. What a wonderful puzzle. Really, I really like this. First, you sacrifice the rook over here with the purpose of opening up the sixth rank and then you sacrifice the knight and then a little pawn gives a wonderful checkmate, a beautiful picturesque checkmate on the board. All right, let's have uh, a look at our fourth example now. Here comes our fourth example and again, full of sacrifices. So I, I really love this ex uh, ex examples of clearance because there are always wonderful sacrifices here. So white to play and win the game. Again, you have to open up some diagonals, some lines in order to win the game. Uh, I'll just repeat it for you. The de definition of line clearance is basically you deliberately need, need to sacrifice pieces. You have to force sacrifice some pieces in order to open up some lines, some diagonals, some files. And once that is done, all you have to do is simply give a checkmate, which uh, happens using a typical checkmating pattern. So white to play and win the game over here. This is a really excellent one. All right, here comes the beautiful move. In this position, again, it starts with sacrifices, of course. We sacrifice, you can see, queen on a a3 is covering all the squares. The king is really kind of smothered at the moment. So knight f6 check, what's the purpose of this? Basically, it opens up the miniature, the, the tiny diagonal from h6 to f8. This is the diagonal you need to open, h6, g7, and f8. These are the square you need access to. So what was the point of this knight sacrifice? What did you clear up? The point was, now you have to play queen f8, another sacrifice. The queen basically drags the king. It's a magnetic sacrifice. It's an attraction. And once the king captures, the king has been decoyed on f8. And now all you have to do is use the open lines that are present. There are two open lines. One is with the rook, one with our beautiful bishop. The first you use the bishop, bishop at six. This was the entire point of sacrificing the knight on move number one. You can see the entire point was once the pawn captures, you get the open diagonal, the tiny diagonal from f8 to h at six. So captures, queen f8, captures. Now bishop at six, check. Because of her rook, the king can't really come out. The only logical move, the only possible move for him is to go on g8. And now comes the back rank basic checkmate with rook e8. So this was how the entire puzzle was. It's basically, it's like a drag and drop tactic. You just pull the king, you do all kinds of messy things with the king, but sacrifices are always involved. And the main theme is to open up more and more lines, more diagonals and more files. All right. If you love this one, the next two ones are really excellent one as well. So let's jump on to our fifth example now. So here comes our fifth example, equally beautiful one. This one is actually black to play. So I'll flip the board for you guys. There you go. It's black to play and win the game. Again, think about it, which line, which diagonal we need to open up in order to attack the white king and give a checkmate to him. So pause the video and try to find the move for black. All right, hope you found the correct move. All you have to do is dismantle his kingside structure by playing the move knight to 
f3 now that is a check that is a basically it's a royal fork if the king moves then you take the queen and you're going to win the game so he has to capture the knight now what was the point of that the entire point was your queen on d8 needed to come to the game as quickly as possible if you can get that queen on h4 as quickly as possible you are winning the game so this is how it happens knight f3 check she takes f3 now queen swings into action queen h4 the threat is very clear you would like to capture the pawn on h3 and then you would like to make a rook lift and that will be winning rook f6 rook g6 or rook f5 rook h5 and rook g5 all kind of moves are obviously possible over there so entire po point is to capture the pawn on h3 now of course he plays rook h1 now the point is if you capture that with the queen the king will go to g1 where it is safe and your queen doesn't have a lot of excellent squares to retreat to in fact uh, he will be okay after that and the entire point of sacrificing the knight will go in waste so rather than that we're going to capture cleverly and we're going to capture with the bishop this comes with a clever idea the king can no longer go to g1 because now as the bishop is already covering the f1 square you can play queen g5 only move his king here and that will be a mate so that's the reason you capture back with the bishop and now he can't really capture uh he can't really move his king so he tries something like bishop d2 in, in the game bishop d2 was played but now comes the point now you play very simple move rook f6 the rook will just swing to the square g6 and all you have to do is simply move the bishop and that's it that's all it takes that's gonna be winning for you and uh basically this is the point where white resigned there is no good defense to that uh first of all there is a discover check if the queen moves by the way there are all kind of attacks with queen takes f2 the queen has to keep protecting the square on f2 and you can see basically most of his pieces are overloaded and this is a lost position for him all right now going back the star move of this was of course knight to f3 over here opening up the making a grand entry for the black queen and this allows us a very strong attacking chances all right uh, moving to our last example, but equally great one. So, so here we go. It's black to play, and among all the puzzles we have seen so far, this one I would say is uh, my absolute favorite one uh, because of the checkmate that happens in this one. It's totally a very very rare checkmate that happens in a million years. So, black to play and find the win that is available over here for black. Again, sacrifice in order to open up some lines. Okay, so hope you find the correct answer. Basically, all you have to do is you have to uh, this time rather than opening up a file or a diagonal, you have to clear up a square. And the square you have to clear up is this one. So queen takes f2 is the move. Now, what did you? Why did you play queen into f2? What's the point? Basically, the pawn on f2 was defending the g3 square. He was defending and guarding the g3 square, which is very crucial for us, as we're gonna see. So queen takes f2 comes obviously with a threat, and the threat is black knight going to g3 with a checkmate all right he has to do something of course he cannot capture because then knight takes is a checkmate double knight checkmate very rare occurrence in chess going back uh he can try something like in the game actually he tried knight to e2 in order to defend the g3 square but this is the best moment of the entire video black plays a stunning move here maybe you you want to pause the video maybe you want to try it yourself or you just enjoy it directly queen to g1 that's a beautiful queen sacrifice no matter what he does he's lost let's have a look at it if knight takes then knight g3 because the knight on e2 was defending the g3 square now that it has been deflected that's a checkmate and if rook takes of course then the rook on f1 was defending the f2 square now it has gone so knight f2 is a mate and i would leave this position on the board i think this is really pretty one very rare a checkmate and uh, all of these examples were really one of my favorites. I've selected this by uh, personally, and I really liked these examples of line clearance. So hope you got what is line clearance. Basically, it's all about sacrificing some pieces in order to open up some diagonals, some uh, some files, some squares. It can be anything. But this one, uh, this topic, this tactical topic is really uh, very, very interesting. So hope you enjoyed this. I'm going to get more puzzles for you guys on different tactical ideas. Uh, in the last puzzle i covered deflection in this one i co covered clearance in the next one i'm gonna cover some interesting topic something similar but something extraordinary equally so hope you enjoyed this video thank you for watching and do subscribe to our youtube channel more videos are on the way until next time see you guys bye